Hi everyone, uh, face map made by request here that I'm um, going to show you. This is for men with beer or for the person with the, looking for the larger size, bigger size face map. So this is 9 inches by 12. Very roomy. So you're going to fold it in half. The fold is on the top here. What I'm going to do to make it easy, we're going from the top, go on the side, and go down and go around, just to make it more easier, so it's not so confusing. On the top where the fold here, you're going to mark one and a half inch. From one and a half inch, you're going to mark another two and a half inch. Two and a half. So from one and a half to over here, that and um, two and a half. On the side here, where the full in from the left, from the right end, two inch and a quarter. Oh my goodness. So, on the side here, on the right, you're going to bring it down an inch and a half. You're going to find something curl that you can curl in this area. You can get place, a paper place, and you can curl this side. Now, one thing is done for one side. On the one on the bottom here, you're going to mark also another one and a half inch. From one and a half inch, you're going to bring it in another one and a half inch. You see how simple that is? From one and a half inch here, you're going to connect with one and a half inch up there. So we go on to one at the time so you 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 um, understand what to do easier. From one inch and a half here and then one inch and a half here, we go on to pinch right in the middle so we get the center. From the center here, you go on to bring it up a quarter of an inch right there and now you connect this line together from the left side in you go on to bring it in an inch and a quarter and from the one inch and a quarter here, you're going to connect all the way to the two and a half inch right there. On the bottom here, where an inch and a quarter, you're going to bring it up five inches. Five inches right here, everyone. This is five inch. So from this five inch here, you're going to bring it down to one and a half here. If you missed a step, please rewind the video, everyone. On the corner here, on that, that, that line right here that you just connect here, a quarter up an inch. And you're going to bring down to here. So now on the side here, you're going to bring it up two inches. Two inch. From the two inch, the one inch and a quarter right here. Like that. And then from two inch here, you're going to go up to one and a half inch right there. It's not complicated, everyone. I just do step by step on each, every little line that we did here. 
So now that's it. You're going to just cut it out. So when you open a template, it's gonna be like this, everyone. And I have the fabric just like this. The bird, uh, the bird house, and then the bird is going that way. So when I do this, I know this is the right way. That's the bird going up, not upside down like um, you did long ago, Andrea, from UK. So when I know exactly like that, what I need to do, make sure the fold, facing the fold, like that and then i'm going to place it right on the fold here now i'm going to cut two of this so after you put the uh, fold of the fabric on the fold of the template go ahead and trace around and then after that you're going to cut it out you need two of this everyone so everyone after i cut out the fabric i have one here with the white that the third layers here and then two main one is right here so the one that in the front and one in the back and also this is the back and this is the front so it's this like this everyone going to just put on the side i'm going to show you what you need to do so just put on the side for now we're going to work this with the white the white one i have here this is considered a third layer and also I cut out the interfacing. This one, I cut another one for interfacing to make the face mask stand better because it's large. So it's going to be easy just to put on top of the white one like this. Make sure everything is nice. I need you to fold in the interface and park is staying in so I need you to fold it back in like this I need you to sew this this curve right here and on the two side here this one and this one you go on to fold in together like this and you go on to sew this line and on this side too also you go on to sew this line in so this line same thing to this side too so sew this after you're done you can just take this out and then fold it like this you're going to sew this two thing in two pointy on the side two pointy on the side this one to here this one to here and same thing to the third one so everyone after i sew on this line and then the two line here so this is the one with the interfacing we're going to put it on the side and this is the two main fabric the front and the back so you can just iron the line inside out the mask you see how the line line up nicely so beautiful i have six inches one in by six inches the uh, fabric that i cut here i'm going to fold it on the side like a quarter of an inch on the side for both from here you're going to take out the paper and then you go on to place this in here. Heat and bond tape have to stay inside the, the fold. Everything have to stay inside before you iron it. Now this is the other one on this side. The reason why I'm doing this so the fold can stay down. And so when you put the uh, nose wire in, it won't stuck. So now you have something like this. From here, you go on to fold it in half like this you fold it in half you can go ahead and iron too just iron the side the lie down to in the middle right here 
So the first one you have is this way. The the line that we saw in the middle is going to face the front side like this. The next one will be a no bridge pocket. Right in the in the middle right here. Make sure it's go right in the middle. And then the second one will be the other side of the face mat inside out. Make sure all light up after. You make sure everything light up nicely. And then the last one will be the interfacing. Interfacing you can just bring in the side like this. So the right side facing out. It doesn't matter anyway, but it's nicer this way. So like this. Now you have to make sure everything light up nicely. And then you get the clip, you're going to clip it down. So now you have something like that. It's really big. And on the on the bottom here, on the side right here, this is the center where the clip, that's the middle line. So in the center right here, I like you to sew, but it's going to leave about an inch and half. So an inch and half right here, don't sew. You're going to use this the inside out of mat. So what I need you to do, you're going to sew from here, sew the ESI. So on the ESI, go all around to here. Go all around, all around here and stop. This one right here, leave it open. So go ahead and sew everyone. So everyone, after I sew all around, look at this face mat. This is extra large everyone. So if you want to make it smaller, get the template, go in half an inch. So I left here somewhere here, an inch and half or so. You can, if those of you who have a hard time leave an inch and half or two or, or one inch, you can leave two inch. It's all up to you. So now you can inside out the mask. Make sure you leave. So now on the side, on each side of the ear, you're going to bring it in half an inch like this. Um, the reason why you need nine inches because we're going to tie the knot, and it's also it's right next to the ear. Yeah, you can just place the elastic in just like this, and then it starts sewing the line in. Everyone, just go ahead and sew the line. So when you get to the end here, you go on to make a loop and then you come out, do exactly the same to the other side, everyone. And you are done. So pull this and tie the, the knot here. You can use panty holes. Let me show you how you can use panty holes. If you make a pen, this with the panty holes, you go on to love it. If you are new to me, to my channel, you go on to love it, everyone. It's not gonna bother your ear at all. So let me just show you with the panty holes. So you take about one inch. You cut it like this. You stretch. And you cut it in half. Go on to your crochet hook or whatever you use. And then you go on to move this to the side. From here, you go on to try it on. And it, it fit you, then you can cut. But normally, I cut about an inch on both ends here, an inch and an inch. So there's two ends off. But you're right there. You're going to try it and see if it fit you. And when you're done, you can just move it inside the pocket and to hide the knock. This one, you're going to love it. It and um, do the same thing to the other ESI. Just do it. So fitness, everyone. Look at this. Look how good that. Oh my goodness. This is where the bee are going to be. And this is your nose. And let me put the wires in here. But I'm going to place in this way. The back face in you. Because when you're done, you go on to bend it over. So now when it in like this, 
you're going to bend it over so the curl is facing you. And now it's like that. How beautiful this is, everyone. If you have a man with beer at home or you're looking for the larger size, this is for Audrey. Audrey, you're looking for a larger face mat for your son-in-law. This is it. So beautiful. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Please stay safe and take care. So beautiful.